Lot Mac. A man in Rockport wants to turn a terrible accident into an opportunity to educate others on the dangers of unmaintained septic tanks. Yeah, it all stems from that tragic accident that happened last month when a child died after falling into a tank outside of an RV park. Sunrise reporter Roland Rodriguez is in Rockport this morning and he joins us now with more. Roland? Ah, uh, good morning, guys, and good morning, South Texas. Scott Mapes wa wants to let people know that there are ways to prevent terrible tragedies like this. It broke my heart. It made me sick. It just, it, 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 was, it, was, it was hard to, you know, actually come to work the next day because of it. Scott Mapes, owner of Coastal Technical Services in Rockport, was referring to the incident that happened last month when two-year-old Charlie Nicole Nelson died in horrendous pass after falling into a septic tank. It, it was real upsetting because we knew it could have been prevented. This is one of the reasons why Mapes has taken it upon himself to educate residents and RV park owners in the community and surrounding counties on the dangers of not maintaining their septic system. We just want to make sure that the homeowners, the property owners, and everybody that has a septic system can fully understand what are the consequences of a septic system that's degraded or not maintained properly. In the early 2000s, septic tanks were completely buried, making access for kids almost impossible. However, now many septic tanks are at the surface level, secured by plastic lids and screws, making it easier for maintenance and inspections. It's just maintenance and it's awareness of the, the screws that are supposed to be in the child safety ring, that's inside the green dome, and then the dome itself will have anywhere from six to 10 to 12 screws on it also, and all those screws should be in place. Because that's one of the things that the county here in Aransas County requires, and if you don't have one, they will not pass inspection. And Scott Mapes is expected to meet with the Rockport Fulton Chamber of Commerce RV Council later this month. And he also has a presentation set up with area real estate agents on the safety of septic tanks. Mike.